two seconds because I've just realised I've got a really gammy mouth right now. Um, water, water of life. Jesus gives us water of life. Um, not good water for us, that actually. Tap water. So anyway, let's get this over and done with, shall we? <laughs> I um, haven't had time to even process or even think about this. Uh, Dean is with some friends at the moment and I just don't need... A, New Year to me is... And it's a, say, it's a strange thing, isn't it? And I was thinking about this today, about whether people actually ever talk about how learning Father Christmas wasn't real affected them. And I think a lot of people would actually feel quite stupid about it. And I got quite a bit of trolling about um, the boys' Christmas, the fact that I hadn't put the Christmas tree up yet, the fact that, you know, and I wasn't getting the kids' Christmas presents and all of this. And it's like, hang on a minute, who the fuck are you for? Uh, it's probably my mum while she was on the plane to Singapore. Um, we're still waiting for my sister to go into labour at the moment and my mum's over in Singapore. So um, I wasn't expecting to be here. I deal with the world that exists around me in seasons. It's about what shoes I need to be wearing that are functional. Yeah, um, I mean, not I'm 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 43. I'm not going to be one of these girls that is going to go to a club tonight and come out without a jacket in inappropriate high heel shoes and a really ridiculous short skirt. For somebody like me, all I have ever wanted when I'm socialising is my husband. Do you want to see who is my best friend? Do you want to meet my best friend? Look at her, bless. This is my best friend. Her name is Eleanor. And she's not a rescue, but she was brought. And money was exchanged for this dog on eBay. No, it wasn't eBay. It was um, Gumtree. And she once lived with, I don't know, because with Dean, at first I'm sure he told me there was four dogs and then he told me there was 12 and there was a lot of dogs barking when we got there, but we didn't see past the yard. And it was very clear that it was a gypsy family and um, she's just been at peace. I haven't even heard her bark. She's just been with me. She had uh, does sit on the boy's bed at the moment, but I'm still waiting for obviously her bark and her bite. Now, if you've got a stick in your hand, she will go and get that stick out and she caught my hand with it. But she is not an aggressive dog. Now you love my little baby. Now, her hair is driving me up the bloody wall already. Um, she was very, 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 very hairy, very patchy. She's only been showered once because she's got this beautiful beautiful coat and it needs a certain level of conditioning and management and she's a very vitalized dog she's only three and a half years old i think she's about 21 in human years but she's three and a half years old she's not a pup but she's not an adult and let's refer this to dogs that this dog here is a german shepherd and in order she's a female she can't do transgender, babe. She's a female. She's a bitch. And her hair is falling out. That's German Shepherds are absolutely renowned and known for it. My last dog was a um, Labrador and my dog before that, a Doberman. And, well, my dad's dog was the Doberman and the boy's dog was the Labrador. But this is the boy's dog. But she's my dog. Now... The thing is, I can train this dog to protect me, okay? But that means in order to train her to protect me, I've got to put her in situations that would traumatise her. And I couldn't do that. If you've ever seen a dog being trained to attack, you have to watch these eyes go and they snap 
And when their eyes go, you've lost that dog forever. And that dog is a trained killer. She's not a trained killer. But could my dog kill? No. She even sleeps like us, with our hands back. She sleeps the same way as us. To have a baby, even when she's born, she's meant to have her hips done. And this is what a breeder would talk about. And this is what I talk about with me, with being hypermobile, Earl or Stanlos syndrome, and being a high-risk pregnancy. This dog would be a high-risk pregnancy. And she would need a vet to make sure that her hips can take carrying a baby in here. And in this world, they've been breeding dogs for years and years and years and years and years. I don't know whether she's ever had a baby and I'm not qualified to be able to tell. Somebody who would know would be able to put their hands over her belly and be able to feel and tell me whether she's ever been birthed. They would also be able to check inside her internal organs and be able to see whether she's been able to give birth. She's three and a half years old. But in adult years, in human years, she's 21. baby so to any dog owners yeah your dog don't come anywhere near this area of my dog do you understand no dog impregnates my dog because she needs intention and proper medical care would I deny her a family no I have already decided that she will I've already decided that if she wants a family then she will have her family and her family will stay with her. I'd like to think that while Dean's out there, he might actually come back with a male for her, but whether she's old enough and she needs appropriate medical care, she needs a good vet, somebody who knows... Oh, anyway, while well, she's privately cleaning herself, I shall leave her to it. Um, she's a she. That's what she is. You can't change the gender of the dog. But she will try to hump, actually. <laughs> and females are not meant to actually do that. It's the male that humps. Oh, she's getting her dignity back for a second. You want some more pasta? Okay, I'll bring some more out for you. Why did you get some red dog? No, it's not. I'm actually on a live and she's responding to your voice. She knows you're there. That is Shiloh. I make it. Shiloh, she's a little bit scared of. Mommy, He's a little bit rough, me, but not too don't rough. Get me alive. No, you're not naked. You've got your tracksuit bottoms on, but you've not don't, got your top on. Don't get me in the live. No, I won't get you on the live. Um, and you're covered in dog hairs. Yeah, today you're folded dog hair. Yeah, covered in dog hairs. This one here, who's brought hair into our life. Oh, shout, shout happy, well, do we say happy new year? Happy new year! Well, hang on, no, because your Uncle Ray's on. Oh. Come here a minute. Okay. Where's your, where's your tracksuit top? Go and get me your tracksuit top on, because you can say happy new year to Uncle Ray and to um, your cousin. Um, so I will say... Oh, bless happy her, look. Happy Ray! Happy New Year, Ray. And Grandad Ray. Happy New Year, Ray! <laughs> all the Rays. Rays. All the Rays. Should we, should, we, should we bless all the Rays of the world? All the sunshine? Should we talk about the Rays of the world? So, anyway. Happy New Year, mate, Uncle Ray says. Um... So this was obviously 300 pounds 
knocked to 250 so I could put the 50 pounds worth of petrol in and went to obviously the area Liam was living in but I couldn't get hold of Liam on the text to go and see him so she's the newest member of our family while I'm on my live you can welcome to stay or not to stay because I'm going to do it um, I haven't had a chance to do it because Dean cuts off anything to do with Aaron and Faith. He's always just told me to just get on with your life and they will come to you. He's always said this. And it's like, hang on a minute. No. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You're not me. You're not mother. End of story. So this letter comes directly from Northwest Adoption Agency. Oh, look at the this is trauma. I'm actually getting a bit cold, but this is what trauma is if I physically allow you to see the trauma. Is it? You want me to control it? Thank you. My aunt Alison has just arrived. That's cool. So that is trauma. Um, just repeat what I was going to do. So, Northwest Adoption Agency. I'm trying not to shake while doing this. You hear the police sirens going on as, as I'm doing this. Send them an email. Tell them I'm reading it out. And I'm gagged. And they're my children. Born from my womb. Anyway, Auntie Alison, before you turn up, I was obviously showing you my newest member of the family. And um, if you want to bear with one page, you're welcome to stay. This has been my trauma since the 1st of October. I actually skipped into october and then on the first went are you ready kelly i looked in the mirror and just subconsciously looked at myself in the mirror and went are you ready for this and then went back into the kitchen and got on so i must have known subconsciously that i was literally waiting for this to turn up i don't get any email to say that they've posted it um i just literally get it now obviously as you know it didn't come through October and through October we've had police at my door how many times we've had people wanting to know how I'm doing fuck off this blah, 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 blah. and I kick it off and as you know I also said it's time to party with Boris right do I believe that they scammed everybody and raised the money yeah of course they did because they're cowardless chickens mate I'd give me a rig Right. If anyone wants to give me a rig, mate, it's just called a suicide rig. Yeah. If you if you're happy for a suicide rig, it means you're going to lose a lot of money. And I mean, a lot of fucking money for a suicide rig. A suicide rig is basically a lorry that is geared up for DJ equipment. It basically means you drive the lorry in, you shut the saddles down, bang, it goes. People know when it's happening and when it's coming. But what it means is the police will take it. They won't touch mine. Because guess what account I'm under? Step up, Britain. Do, 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 do. They force my hand. Do, 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 do. Don't push me any further. Because this is how we do it. 1994, Reclaim the Streets. It was done with a big suicide rig. There is no way of getting anywhere near a DJ equipment. So when I showed Dean, he went, yep, yeah, bang, fag, fake straight away. Dean was at 1994 Reclaim the Streets, which is why he doesn't tolerate all these new people that come into campaigning. He has been dealing with this shit since he was 11 years old. Chickens make these, do they? They lay the eggs. But what happens, what happens if you leave the egg, though? What, what comes out of the egg? A baby chicken. But in so why why do we eat eggs then if if they could have been a baby? No babies in these eggs. There's no baby. Well, the fetus is in there. Yes, that's what the yolk is. That's 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 the. Oh, I wouldn't. That's been on. Remember, 
Right, anyway, you wanted more of the pasta. I'm going to come back and do this when these two are probably settled. So I'll probably do it later on tonight and actually read um, this on here, which is basically the letter that I get um, because it angered me from the beginning. Shall I just read you the first bit that really pissed me off? Dear Kelly, I'm not allowed to reply and I get from all of us no kisses. From all of us. Um, we hope you find this, we hope this letter finds you well. This is three reminders to their email. Aaron and Faith are really well and doing great. We are so sorry that this letter is late. The email address that we have had in our contact was compromised. So we hadn't checked it for ages and life just ran away with us. With working full time, after school activities, Aaron and Faith were participating. We have written in our diary to write next October. I'm fuming already. So that energy, I'll leave this until the kids have gone to sleep and I'll do this later. My son has just smashed an egg. So anyway, I am back, but the account is Step Up Britain. Now let's see them take this one down. They got away with me being a .co.uk, but they can't get away with this because I have accountants, solicitors, and guess who do it all? The Department of Working Pension. Because I'm back on my 26-week programme to self-employment. Um, and this is my office, so welcome to the office of pretty much in about, when is it? I've got the boys' podiatry. So we're starting with feet on the 4th of January. We're in the system for the specialised for their teeth. We're pushing through and I'm assuming from here they will snap out and go, none of us are going to even go anywhere near her and send us straight, straight to guys and straight to the EDS hypermobility department section and stop calling me grandeur or anything because I say they are not specialists in a specialised condition. And they don't understand health. They don't even understand disease and viruses. They don't even understand how to... Um, have personal boundaries and just run away in fear and social distance and, and we're dealing with real true narcissists and you're being led by a bunch of fucking psychopaths mate absolute bunch of psychopaths psychopaths i have a psychology degree i'm not a psychologist but i could officially say um we're borderline dealing with people in a think tank that are so capitalistic, materialistic, driven, and it's not a family life that they're leading. This is divide, conquer, separate. So whatever New Year's is about, I'm going to be back and forth. She just got the egg. Yeah, no, she loves eggs. She loves eggs. I'm just not too sure. So anyway, I've got to learn as much as I can about her because I'm not a specialist in um, her breed, her culture, her race. I don't think we have racism between dogs, um, but I don't know whether or not I would be willing to go and be with Dean with his friends. They've got a dog at theirs and I'm not willing to leave her here either. So she's my family. So if you're inviting me around, except two little kids, a dog, and hopefully my teenagers. I haven't got teenagers anymore. Yes, I have got teenagers. They're not quite teenagers. Um, Aaron is going to be turning 13 this year um, in February. So I've, uh, she is a um, German Shepherd. Don't do it with the egg like that, but she's, um, I'm not quite sure which German Shepherd. I, I don't know the pronunciation. I have been doing my research and watching videos and things. Um, we're just dealing with, I need one of them real big brushes at the moment. I've given her one shower, because obviously us women, we do need to understand our minerals and our oils and our personal things. Hello there, Claire. I'm actually trying to come off at the moment because my kids are um, gotten my attention. And it's not that I'm that bothered about it. 
I'm not bothered about it. But what you've got to remember is I've got people that then ring and send my lives to social and things like that. And, you know, and I get... I've, I, food Bank was closed today, so I didn't even get to find out whether or not she rang Food Bank. So we're fucked now. I'm now riding until the 18th of January. So I get universal credits paid into my account on the 18th of January, which is really fucking inconvenient living like this. It's the first today. I, I'm going to court to be paid on the first and in, I am insisting that I live, if I'm going to be living month to month, then I live from the first until the last day, because budgeting from the 18th to the 18th is a fucking nightmare. And the reason being is bills are paid on the first of the month, the seventh of the month, the 14th of the month, or the 21st of the month, yeah? So when I'm paid on the 18th of the month, I need all of them to go. And because I still only have a bog standard bank account, so when I... Um, got to save the family i had um my bank account my current account and this is personal my savings account my investment account i had all the insurance all the policies all of my kids had their trust funds all my kids had had insurance car insurance um policies pensions all of that stuff very wise to it don't forget an ex-army wife um and then I had obviously Unity in the Community, Step Up Britain, Child, no, Step Up Britain didn't come in, and yes, it did. So I had Unity in the Community, um, so I'm the official director on Companies House as director of Unity in the Community. That was 2006. So don't forget, I graduated from Lancashire, no, from University of Central Lancashire in 2006. I was an escort the year before that. Um, so I was an escort for the second year of university. The only reason I become an escort was because I was all good and well in the first year of university. Then second year of university, they medically suspended me because of my respiratory problems with my vocal cord. And they had to do a risk assessment, which basically meant... Look, she's following her <laughs> Seriously, I'd like to see anyone come near me, mate. My dog, Avia, but I don't ever want to see it. I don't ever want her to be in that situation and I don't ever want anyone, not me to put her in that situation or anyone because everyone around there says so she's a really beautiful, beautiful girl, mate. But I wouldn't want you to see you cross her owner and I wouldn't want anyone to see them cross, I guess, the father of this house. He's not my husband, but he is the father of this house and it's all about our temperament, isn't it? It's all about our patience it's all about our character. It's not about going on the streets and going, I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, I'm a dentist, I'm a, a this. And what's so nice about this Great Reset, so don't forget, I do own the website, thegreatreset.org. Um, yes. Okay, we decided with raw egg, did we? You decided with raw, okay. No more, no more, no more, because I think we are meant to boil it for her. If she's got diarrhoea, you're picking her poos up. What? If she's got diarrhoea... I do remember my dad with, with Troy. Troy didn't have dog food. Troy didn't have dog food. When he went to my nan's, mate, he got really fat, because my dad... My, my dad's... My dad's... It, it's, like, it's like jarred food for, for kids on the shelf in Asta, isn't it? I'm not a jarred food mum, so I don't want to be a jarred food parent either, and it's going to cost me, like... Ten pound a big tray, three pounds. It's not that much, but it's not what's right for her. So <laughs> it's no different. So that's my focus this year of whatever is considered. No, don't give him the pasta. I don't. I shouldn't even pasta. You shouldn't even eat pasta. And it depends where the wheat's from. It's all about the wheat. It's all about what's in it. It's all about how it's cooked, isn't it? So it's all about how it's processed more than anything. How they need to put it on the shops. Because if I made pasta here in my house and I literally got the flour, got the water, got the... Do you put eggs in, in pasta? I can't remember. Um, and I had one of them little things to feed it through and just made it myself. I wouldn't have any problems with it. But when it's got to be obviously packaged, put in a shelf, stored in a cupboard, they put so many things in it. And somebody like me with my health, I've got enough to contend with than my body trying to get rid of other things out of my system. So I'm going to try again with the smoking. 
I don't know what I'm going to be doing about pain relief. If I go the doctor's way, my cupboard would look like a medical fucking pharmacy and it just mongs me out. I can't cope with it. It takes my willpower away um, and I don't like it. I don't like being on... Do you know what? The biggest drug dealers in the world are the pharmaceuticals. The farm... No, 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 and you'll deal with Q for you two to box it out. Do you understand? Fight. No, you won't fight. You'll train. Just to keep healthy and strong and vibrant. Yeah. And be able to climb mountains and run around with your dog. Not a fighter. I've never been a fighter. I'm not a fighter. Um, I, I, I wouldn't... I, I actually once pondered, could I be an assassin, yeah? And could I officially take people out? Because don't forget, I'm very from an army, military, education, understanding, life on the background, so to say. Never fought on the front line, never done that. But I've held my breath while my husband has. Um, anyway, I've got to go and deal with these two. Right, you two, what have you got in your hands? Why is she? She's meant to be a girl. Right, so what what have I told you about when there's ladies present? Yeah. What have I told you? Even when, oh, bless, one of the old dears came to drop the boys off some fudge and chomps and she Hello. slipped outside the front. And, of course, Hello. I've got to go through my trauma of who the fuck's on the door because I didn't expect anyone at the door. And I just see this woman on the floor in red. And then I'm thinking, hang on a minute. Did I say, show me in red on the campaign and no red in my private life? Or reveal to me in red in my prayer. And I couldn't remember what I'd said on my live in my prayer over red. And she was on their ass. So obviously I went down, helped her out and things like that. But I want my boys to be chivalrous. I want my boys to be respectful. I tell you what, if any of my boys, and I mean this, mate, and my boys know this. If any of my boys ever were married and were physically violent or anything to their women, I'd be the first person to be banging them up against the arm and dragging them out. The first person. The first person, their mother, mate. If my kids ever turn into anything or even flip out or any form of their character decides, I'll be the first person there bringing my kids out. You know, we saw the mother with the, the son on the campaign and this wasn't campaigning and protesting and demoing. This was rioting. There's a difference. Black mother, you boy, boom, boom, banging him up the head and booming up the street, yeah? Get home, yeah? <laughs> Now, discipline and a fine line, because I've had Aaron with me today. Now, this has been really hard because I have my friend Aaron. He's a Muslim. He's only 14, 13, 14. But today, his mum's back now. I was sort of stepping in while his mum was away in um, in a uh, thing. And his dad was a taxi driver. So Aaron helped me out with the boys for a bit. And I helped out down there. But even he was saying today, you know, he's had to go back and get... You get off her tail now. You don't touch her tail. Right, I've got to go because my boys need my attention. Right. 